Pop Story Time. Morning. Morning. Now, who is here with us today? Hi, I'm Isabel. Hi, Isabel. I'm a witch. You're a witch. I'm wearing my witch hat too because it's Halloween in the United States. Yay. Mina. Yeah. What are you going to be for Halloween? But it is always fun to play pretend. Yeah. Well, my friends, because it's Halloween, I have a Halloween book for us. Yay. It is Room on the Broom, <gasps> written by, I know, our witchy brooms, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Alex Scheffler, and published by Puffin Books. Let's start reading. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black, and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred, and how the witch grinned, as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat spat, when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, as they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat down firmly on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from the bow from her braid just like that. I know I hate to lose my bows. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely then bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied the brick in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but <gasps> let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Dear, I hate losing my wand. How about you, Isabel? That would be terrible. I know. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold in her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? What do you think she said, friends? Yes. Yes. Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy, and... The broom snapped in two. Oh, oh no. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog down they went tumbling into a bog 
The witch's half broom stick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh, I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and witch with fries tastes delicious to me. No, no cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch. Shout help with me. Help. <laughs> Flying down to the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. Oh, no. I know. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. It, and its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it stood from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. On oh, thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, and throw something in. So the frog found a lily, and the cat found a cone, and the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, and a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broom, and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, the wow. end. What a great story. I love Room on the Broom. Fabulous! I love how the witch made room for everyone on her broom. And they were all comfortable, too. And I know, and then they all had comfy seats. It was just fabulous. Well, friends, thank you for joining us for story time once again at the King's English Bookshop. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so glad. Happy Halloween, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Happy Halloween. Bye.